So the other day, Yolene Bumquo, a unit of a shot putter, ran the 100 meter hurdles in a professional field. And it was fantastic. She got absolutely smoked, but had a blast doing it. Which all props to her, not something many people would be comfortable doing. It was equally awesome to see a sobering representation of a non-elite sprinter versus a field of elites. Although, at her height, basically stepping over the hurdles, with training, I'm sure she'd make a fantastic hurdler. This all came about due to some bizarre circumstances. It was an athletics team championship, which is a unique and kind of cool event in itself. But two of the Belgium sprinters pulled out due to injury, and if no one competes, the team gets DQ'd. So Yolene took one for the team, ran the event, and got some extra points because someone in a race DQ'd. Champion, I'd say. But funnily enough, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Trevor Misapeka and Sogalao Tuvalu, both originally from America Samoa, both shot putters, were entered in the 100 meter at the World Championships an entire decade apart. Trevor ran in 2001 with a smashing time of 14.28, and Sogalao in 2011 with a time of 15.66. These times are basically dead on what the average bog standard man sprints, according to Google. So if you've ever wondered what the difference is, here you are. These absolutely historic performances happen due to rule changes, allowing small nations only to enter athletes without qualification marks into track events, and not field events. And what are we left with? Some really ridiculous, iconic moments in track and field history. But man, don't get me started on Eric the Eel, the man who practiced swimming on land, almost drowned at the Olympics and still won his race. 